Hey, camera only. Mark. You're dead. Right now. I've killed you. You were half asleep. How are you, Mr. Joe? I'm very good, thank you. I love Hannah. Oh, thank you. It's good. one of my favorites this year. Oh, good. Already. Well, it's, yeah, we're only in March, but I'd take that as a great compliment. Now, what made you want to make Hannah? Uh, well, um, Saoirse sent me the script. Uh, she was already on board to, to play the, the role of Hannah and uh, sent me the script. And so a large part of why I wanted to make the film was for her, really. Um, I was also intrigued by the story and, and by the action. I'd never made an action movie before, and so I, I wanted to see what that was like. Atonement, I still talk about the Dunkirk Beach mm -hmm. scene that you did. Mm -hmm. Here, what I notice is that no cut, almost no cut action scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I kind of enjoy the theatricality of them, really, and, and uh, really the process of, of, of creating those scenes. Um, uh, I like kind of um, uh, the the camaraderie that you get when you make those make those shots, and uh, they're they're fun to do. I'll do better next time. Tell me again. Adapt or die. Pick on your feet. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm ready. All you have to do is flip that switch. It tells me as the regular where we are. Only you can get close enough. She won't stop until you're dead, or she is. Come and find me. Let's talk about the fairy tale constructs of the movie. What inspired you to do that? I mean, Hans Christian Andersen would be proud. Ah, oh, well, I mean, I think the I think the um, the structure of the story is it was always a kind of fairy tale structure. Um, a, a young uh, person grows up in the f safety of a you know parental home, uh, is required to go out and explore the world, encounters evil for the first time, and overcomes it. That's the structure of most fairy tales. Uh, and so what I did was to kind of make that slightly more explicit uh, and, and play with some of the iconography of, of fairy tales. Marissa. We picked up an unencrypted signal below the Arctic Circle. We think it's Eric Heller. Heller is a rogue asset. I propose we go in and pull him out. We need to keep this contained, gentlemen. Papa. Remember what I taught you, you'll be fine. Heller was gone, but we found this kid. I want to speak to Marissa Fiegler. And I do love all the strong women in the film. I mean, you have strong women protagonists, mm -hmm. you have strong women antagonists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that your homage to women? Oh, I love women. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I kind of... Uh, and I like the, uh, the way, you know, um, you have a lot of Oedipal stories uh, in the world. Uh, the son kills the father. Um, uh, and I kind of... I guess watching my sister and my mother and, and various girlfriends and their mothers, you know, it can be quite an antagonistic relationship sometimes. And, and so in a way, it's about um, that relationship as well. There's a lot of, a lot of the film is about parenting. Right. And, and, and you know, you're, you've taken Hannah. I mean, there's a possibility of so many worlds that Hannah can visit. Mm. Have you thought of that? Mm. Uh, <laughs> sort of, but I'm still recovering from... from uh, this one to start thinking about more, you know. What do you want, Marissa? I need you to do things my agency will not let me do. The girl is still alive. She, I mean, I think she doesn't judge people either, you know. Um, uh, she perhaps is slightly autistic in the sense that uh, empathy is quite a, a challenging um, uh, thing for her. Uh, but at the same time, she, she tries to observe and to, and to understand people. And uh, I, I, she's an extraordinary character for that reason, I think. Great fairy tales have great moral stories. So what is the moral of the story of Hannah? Um, Oh, I don't really believe in morals, um, uh, see, uh, especially not kind of teaching any morals. Uh, I think people need to find their own, and I think maybe that is the moral, that, you, that we need to find our own. Be empowered. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Children are bad people too. Did she turn out as you hoped? <laughs>